Businesses are closing, unemployment is rising, inflation is soaring, and the local currency depreciated by at least 50%. And now, for the first time in its history, Lebanon is defaulting on paying its debt. $1.2 billion is due on Monday. The country is facing its worst economic crisis in decades. Prime Minister Hassan Dieb, who took office in January after massive protests toppled the previous government, told the nation his administration will work on restructuring the debt which has become too much for the country to bear. Our hard currency reserves are at a critical record low. As a result, the Republic of Lebanon is forced to default the coming March 9th obligation on the Eurobond. These funds must be channeled towards securing the basic necessities for the Lebanese people. People have been on the streets for months, demanding a new leadership. They have little faith in a government appointed by the old political class they accuse of corruption. Demonstrators have also vented their anger at banks for imposing capital controls, but bankers are blaming the authorities for looking for an easy way out. Restructuring the public debt seems to be a way to avoid the other reforms that are necessary to jumpstart the economy and to solve the crisis, which is essentially restructuring the public sector. Some parties uh, in Lebanon have been used to uh, look at the public sector as a source of benefits and favors to their political constituency. International donors have made clear there will be no assistance unless reforms are carried out. It's not just about implementing reforms. Lebanon's new government does not have many friends. It is seen by the United States and its allies as controlled by Hezbollah, an Iranian-backed group they consider a terrorist organization. And they have been trying to contain Iran's growing influence in the Middle East. The only option to secure foreign funding and without risking further isolation is through the International Monetary Fund. But Hezbollah, the power broker in government, has rejected an IMF bailout. It says it would involve taxes and calls the institution a tool of the United States. I mean, in case Hezbollah signs, signs up to the IMF, they will lose uh, some of the sovereignty they've won in the 2018 elections, the first election that they've won since 2005. And if they lose that power, this means that they've conceded some sort of defeat um, to the IMF and to the international community and to the United States. Lebanon's financial crisis has entered a new stage and there doesn't seem to be a rescue plan. And as conditions worsen for the people, many are warning of further unrest. Zena Khudr Al Jazeera, Beirut.